Hi everyone, coming on for another Make A Cab Monday and today I am using a collection from Knitwits Collection and it is Christmas Romance, it is a new release for the holiday season and I have just chosen a few elements I purchased the... F... the FBQ my head is just mincemeat today Need to just check what it was I purchased. Oh, it is actually half five in the morning, um, but I couldn't sleep. So when I can't sleep, I just get up and I craft. Right, so I got the la, 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 FQB. And it is Christmas Romance Collection. So I just pulled out a few of the elements and I'm going to put a card together. Okay, this wasn't part of it. It was these items here that were part of the collection. So I just, they're only on printer paper, they aren't on card. Uh, so I'm just going to start putting them together and see what we come up with. So first of all, I've got a holographic paper that I am going to layer my paper onto. But I don't want to waste the centre of that, so I am actually going to cut a die cut out of that first. So I'll move that aside. Because no one's going to see under this anyway. And I just don't want to waste that amount of card especially holographic because I do go through a lot of that at this time of year so just pull that out to the side pull this in place that as central as I can and we'll run that through. And for these wee extra bits on here, all I do is take my X-Acto knife and just I'll go over the top. That just releases them all and tap them into the bag. Right. So we have got our base there. And I'll just pop out the extra bits that are left. may actually do is put the black behind this. We'll see if that works first and use the frame as a feature. I wasn't going to do that but now I'm looking at it I think it might be a good idea. So for the back I'm just going across and making sure all those wee extra bits are off. Right let's see if that will work. Nice actually. Let me see the one there. No, I'm going to put it in front. Right, so grab my APG gun. which has been a bit used and abused this week. So let's just slide it back through. I just need to turn this a few times to get the tape around where I want it. That's it. Right, so I'm just going to tape 
up near there to relax. Oh, wrong side. Doors in here. So I'm just going to peel that back before it sticks too long. As long as you're gentle, it'll come off, no bother. There we go. Right, so attempt number two. Central, but that's all right. And that'll be going on like that. Then I have got a ribbon element here that I want to put across this way. But to do that, I'm going to need to chop a little bit off this edge and move it over. I think. So I'm going to just mark there, so I can see where I'm cutting, and if you see there's another so slight score line on that, you see it's just there, so it's just enough for me to see where to snip. And there. And I'm going to put this down with some wet glue. Move that carpet out of the way just now and we'll work just on this. So. Just adding a little bit on the bow area so I'll just come along the ribbon okay. just take it and I'm using the bottom of this ribbon as an edge against the bottom of my paper back a wee bit with that. Oops. So if I go around there. Yep, that's it. And this little extra bit here that I've got. I'm going to just glue that under here just so that it matches up at the other side. So I'm just peeling that back ever so slightly. Add in that tiny wee bit of glue there. And just prod that under. I'm actually going to peel it back a little bit so that it goes right under where I need it to be. And then I'll just trim that part off. I mean, it is barely visible, but it's enough for me to know. There we are. So that's that part done. That was little middle part is coming up, so I'm going to just go in there with a little bit more glue. And just take off the excess of my finger. Right. So next I've got my element and I don't know whether I want to use the tree or Santa. I think I'm going to go with Santa. 
So again, I'm just using weight glue. And I'm just making sure that all the wee extra bits like his moustache and his wee bobble are stuck down because they're the bits that are going to come up first. If anything is going to lift. And I'm just lightly patting that down on my finger. Going on here, a little bit more glue under this part. I need it there as well, yep. I think it's just because I lifted that to add that extra wee bit of bow in. So we've got that so far. Now I've got this little sentiment. I want to add over here, I think. But I need to add something under that to break up the black. So first of all, that little pom pom needs to come up. I'm going to go under that slightly as well. I think I'll use another wee bit of this holographic card and just use a slight, slight, slight border around it. I'm just putting down plenty of wet glue. And obviously it doesn't need to be completely straight because I'm going to trim around it. Just got to take a slice off there first. So I've got a little amount to work with. And I'm just going, oops, let me just see. Some rubbish at freehand cutting. That looks okay. I'll go around here now. No, that slicks in a wee bit. That's alright. Let's clean that a bit more. That's fine there. And I'm not going to round these corners, I'm just going to leave these straight. Just going in ever so slightly again. There we go. Oops. Yeah, quite like that. And that little bit of red round it gives it that extra wee lift. So again, down with my wet glue. kind of bordered up at the top as well and then my wee pom-pom can go back down so 
so I'm just putting a wee spot just underneath there and pressing down on it. Right, now I've got a little black button here that I don't know if I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm going to put it over the top of that bow. So again, just plenty of wet glue. And over the top of that. And then what I'm going to do is add my gloss accents over it. Because that will give it the three dimensional look and make it nice and glossy. So I'm just going in with my glossy accents. Just remember this needs time to dry. You need to keep your card flat. That in here, just trying to check with the light where I've missed any areas. There we go, like that. And then all I need to do is mount it on my base, like that. But because I've put the gloss accents on, I can't do that. So I'm just going to show you what the end card will look like. And that's it there. And that's using Christmas Romance from Network Collections. It is a lovely, lovely card collection. And there's some beautiful elements in it. Um, baubles with doilies. Um, poinsettias that are just absolutely stunning and well, there's a few Santas, I think there's two Santas there's a few trees, I think there's three trees so there is a lot of elements in it um, there's clocks which have got the most wonderful time of the year so they are pretty so I hope you have a wee go um, pop over to Knitwit and purchase some of their Christmas collections are just absolutely stunning. If you look back at my videos from last year, um, I was on the Knitwits collection design team and I used a lot of their products over the holiday season last year. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.